Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to show you demo of parameterization in Python. Okay. So no matter you are working in data science or non data science area, but if you work with Python or in any programming language, parameterization is a very important concept. The reason I am explaining here is this is a very, very important concept from deployment point of view. In any environment, if you deploy your code, you should be aware of this concept. Okay. So without wasting any further time, let's go to my screen and see the demo for parameterization in Python. So guys, I'm inside my Unix box and I have an Excel sheet here. Okay. This is a very simple data here. You have year, month and data value. Data value is nothing but dollar value. This data is for a bank. Okay. So the first row talks about in 2001, third month, what is the dollar volume for that bank through first channel? You can think is that channel one, 2002, third month, some other channel. I have removed some columns here to keep it simple. Okay. Now, suppose I ask you a question. What is the total dollar volume for year 2007? So what you will do, you will come here and you will just put a filter and you will say, filter on 2007 and give me the data. And if I click this, I will get the number here 1596597. Suppose same thing I want to do in Python. How to do it? Very simple code I have written here. I have import pandas, I have import sys. This is the Python demo for parameterization I'm printing. And then I'm importing the data. I'm printing number of rows and number of columns. And I'm just saying here 2007, for example. Okay, so what I do, I just filter create a temporary data. In this temporary data, I just sum that target column or whatever column I want to sum data value. So I save this code and I come to my Unix box terminal and run that code. Now, some of you who do not know how to run that code, see guys, my, my file is here. Okay, Python script parameterization.py and the CSV file is also here. Okay. So I'm inside that directory here. If I do a ls minus LRT, you will see those two files here. Suppose my job is to run this file. I will just go here and say Python three and my file. Okay. This will run my file Python script. So you can see guys, one, five, nine, six, five, nine, seven, four, 2007. This is the sum that is what Excel also gave us. Okay. This is a basic way of doing programming. Now, suppose I want to compute for 2011. Okay. Then I need to go here and change. Suppose I want to compute for 2003. I have to go here and change. So every time I need to find a new value, I have to touch the code. So this is not a good way of writing the code. When you deploy the code in production and you want to run for multiple years or multiple uh, date range, then you do not hard code the data range. This is called hard coding. Okay. Rather, you pass this as a parameter. How to do that in Python, guys? So, first of all, I will comment this code, the existing code. Okay. Without parameter execution, I will comment. Okay. And I will bring a piece of code here that is parametric way of deploying code. Why I'm writing this is these things are very, very useful for deployment perspective. What I'm saying here, guys year underscore value, I am taking this parameter from the user. User means somebody who is calling that script. sys.argb1 means first argument. Okay. What is first argument? I will tell you. If you come here, this is without argument running. Okay. At the moment, I write here 2007. 2007 becomes the first argument. At the moment, I write here something else. Let's say 6. 6 becomes the second argument. At the moment, I write here 9, 9 becomes the third argument after space. So now I'm passing only one argument 2007. So this one argument denoted by sys.argb1 will come in year underscore value. Once I have that value, I can same way create a temp data and I can say with parameter execution and run this. Let me try running this. So you can see here with parameter execution and number is same, the whatever we saw here. Okay. Now, suppose in the same code, 
I want to give little more flexibility to the user and I want user to be able to filter on months also. Okay. For example, let's say fourth month, just an example. So fourth month, what is the value 55101. So I want user can pass both the values. What I will do is I will pass multiple parameters. Okay. Taking one more parameter as input I'm saying here and I'm uncommenting this code. And first thing I'm doing here is I'm counting how many parameter user is passing in number of params. So if you say length of sys.argv that will count your file name also as one parameter. Hence I'm saying minus one. Okay. So if number of parameters is two, then year value we already have month value we will compute by second parameter and we will pass both in the log function with end and same way we will find the number. Okay. So let's try running this. Once we run this, we will get for 2007 fourth month, for example. So if you see here, 55101 is what we are chasing, right? So we started from 55101, 2007 fourth month. Similarly, I can compute for any other month, let's say 2011 fifth month. Okay. So this is the value. So this is the power of parameterization, guys. Okay. This is the power of parameterization. User can pass the input, things will be taken care by the Python script. Now, one more improvement can be done on this code. And the improvement is this part is running every time. So this part should not run every time. This part should run only when user is passing one argument. So what we can do, we can just put this also inside another if here. Okay. So this if you take it here and you make it one if number of parameters is one then run this part. If number of parameters is two, then run this part. Okay. That will be a better code. In that case, if we pass two arguments, this line will not come. This line is not needed right in the output. So I hope you understood the concept of parameterization guys and how you can make your code little smart. And these concepts are very, very important for deployment perspective. I will be covering the next uh, uh, concepts in deployment. So be prepared with these basic concepts. Please subscribe to the channel guys. If you have not done yet, ask me all the questions you have in the comment. I will see you all in the next video guys. Till then, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.